in this video we will talk about something that i find stunning and dangerous at the same time a magma intrusion going right underneath a volcano that is an island a volcano we have to talk about this guys stay tuned hey guys for those of you who watch my channel on a regular basis i think i found a new top spot for our lagoonies that like to swim on top of a magma chamber with a volcano erupting right next to it with earthquakes and the guy that i reported about yesterday that was walking over fresh lava to an erupting volcano in iceland and then taking selfies there unbelievable watch this video people are just incredible so there's a new hot spot a potential hot spot for all of these people so it is in italy guys but it's not campi flegri that is rumbling this time and it's not climbing vesuvius or stromboli or etna but it is a volcano an island that is called Volcano, and it's not far from Sicily. But, you know, you have to imagine um, it's a tourist attraction for people to go to the island of Volcano. That is a volcano, basically like Stromboli sort of thing. It's just that the name of this island is Volcano, so that even the not so brightest person might understand what they're getting into probably so people flock there and uh, they enjoy some special things there it's a mud bath and you might think mud bath why is that something for the lagoonies well i tell you guys it's known as pozza in italian this mud bath and it's basically a mud or clay lake that is located right next to the port of volcano well okay so they say people benefit from the sulfurous properties of this clay and mud bath who now we're listening sulfur right it is a volcanic island so they say this clay mud retains purifying properties and that this pozza this mud bath can be recreational or cure diseases skin diseases and stuff like this yes it does that's absolutely great right also they're saying mud bath like this can give people a better psycho or like physical state of mind but they do more than this they call them even like a form of therapy so for people that battle respiratory issues musculoskeletal system concerns or skin disorders so these are the mud bath and then there's something else close to that pozza the sea is very warm so a portion of the sea has many fumaroles and we know from campi flegri what fumaroles are that's hot gas steam that's coming out of the ground and what's the reason for these fumaroles that's something that's deep down there magma and a volcanic system that creates those right so they're releasing steam at high pressures so these sulfurous gases that are released directly from the seabed there, it naturally warms the water. And what they're so happy about, it also provides a jetting effect in these places for people to swim there and feel that, right? It's nice. So they say that Volcano, that island, is the best location in Italy for talassotherapy treatments. They say the bubbles that are rising to the surface make the seawater more beneficial because it is enriched with minerals and it circulates through like a natural whirlpool. Okay, but here comes the but for all of us freaks who are into these volcanoes and magma chambers we know what that means and what you're actually doing your recreational activities on right that heat comes from something and it looks like volcano 
is waking up or it's doing something. So that's why I want to tell you about this. I mean, look at this picture. This is an impressive crater. I mean, this is really throning over these little settlements and villages there, right? So this is, it is something. So there were earthquakes, weak but earthquakes southwest of the coast of Volcano that have just been recorded today. And here comes the end, <laughs> the, in, the INGV, the Italian Institute for Geophysics and Volcanology has given a statement about what's going on there and they're reporting anomalous degassing values there. So everything that's not normal, I'm not sure that I would continue my mud bath there, if I'm honest, guys. So we did have, and that's what scientists said, there was a relaxation on this volcanic island. It's part of the Aeolian Islands. So, but they say relaxation because since May, there has been an increase in earthquakes. And we know with a volcano, if earthquakes increase, maybe something's on the move. Maybe something's going on underground, right? If a mole is digging his tunnels, something's rumbling, you know? If you have seismometers there that are super sensitive, you would probably feel it. And plus, they these fumaroles show increased temperatures. So is magma rising up, making these fumaroles hotter, or is it just the hot gases that come from the magma? So increased temperatures of the fumaroles, increased earthquakes, and anomalous degassing values. So three things that are not so great, I would say. Um, so INGV says to earthquakes southwest of the island of Volcano, very weak earthquakes, but they were at depth of about 10 or and 7 kilometers. So for the INGV, they're saying these earthquakes alone are not the concern, but what they have released in their latest bulletin, this is what we want to talk about, the data on the gas emissions, they are different. So they say it's an abnormal degassing and an increasing trend in carbon dioxide flow. And that has increased significantly right now when they compare it to the previous weeks. So something's going on. So for example, the average value for August was about 16,081 grams per square meter per day. And on August 31st, these values did go up to 18,240. So definitely an increase. And these carbon dioxide emissions are not the only cause for concern that they have around this volcano, around this crater. Um, there's also some areas of concern um, at the port of volcano and at a campsite that is called Cecilia Campsite. There, the emissions have also increased. So there we have tourists, there we have infrastructure, and even there, these emissions have increased. Also, in addition to that, the sulfur dioxide emissions remain high. And the same, as I just said, the same applies to these temperatures that the fumaroles are showing. So the water should get warmer. Isn't that great, right? So, three years ago, a crisis, how they call it, started, began on Volcano. So what was happening? There was a magma intrusion underneath the island. 
If you're following my channel and you know what happened in Iceland with that magma dike, that magma intrusion that has formed on November 10th. So magma intrusion, magma was getting out of a magma chamber, but it wasn't able to find a weak spot to make it to the surface and erupt so that lava would come out, right? If the lava is out, it's called lava. If, if it's still underground, it's called magma. So a magma intrusion underneath the island, that doesn't sound really great, I would say. And then th they think that there was a second smaller intrusion that was happening this May, May of this year. And that's when all these levels started rising all over a sudden although they thought it was a relaxing phase of the volcano, right? So that is why it's so concerning. What is going on there? What's going on with these magma intrusions? So the data that they have, they indicate that there is a, an active magma chamber, a body of magma underground that is maturing, that is developing and so they think that the magma that is in there could still be capable of erupting. So even in these magma intrusions, in these dikes that have been formed underneath, they think that magma that's in there could still erupt, although over time it's cooling down, it's crystallizing, right? But they think there is still a danger. But then, you know, with these magma dikes, where would it erupt? It's then even more difficult to predict. So, yes, they are maturing, right? But what's happening during these processes while these magma dikes are maturing? They release a lot of gas from this magma body that is down there. And that is now reaching the surface. That's why it's in different spots, because if that magma intrusion went all underneath the island, now it's at the port, it's at the campsites, right? It's reaching the surface. So you would think, yeah, so what's the problem? So what the assumption of the scientists is that this release of gas also increases the pressure in this magma body that is there somewhere. And so that's why it could happen that during this um, maturation process of this magma intrusion, the magma is of course slowly cooling and it forms crystals, right? It crystallizes little rocky stuff, but over longer periods of time, there can still be enough eruptive liquid hot lava left so that a volcanic eruption could even occur years, years after the magma intrusion. So usually the longer the maturation process takes, the more explosive these eruptions can become. So there we have it. That sounds scary, guys. And when we think about the magma intrusion in Iceland, you might wonder, is this the same there? I would love to hear from the Icelandic scientists and give their opinion on this because that magma intrusion is going right underneath Grindavik, right? They're assuming that this one has solidified by now, but has it? Who knows? So what makes it particularly dangerous and can cause a lot of problems if there is another magma intrusion that intrudes into the existing magma dike, magma area that has formed. So because then it's shooting fresh magma in there, right? Then it's getting very, very critical. And then the risk for an eruption increases significantly. And you know, we had two magma intrusion, the last one in May in this area, but they can't screen what's going on underneath. They can't give us a map of where exactly the magma is. It's all just a guessing game. And of course, we have these fumaroles coming out of the ground. That gives us a little bit of an indication. So right now, the INGV is still not 
on high alert level, they say that volcano, the island, is still dormant and they see the main danger right now um, caused by the gas emissions themselves. So they say the carbon dioxide could accumulate, for example, in basements and could cause problems, particularly there, because you don't have that much airflow down there. Um, but in general, the INGV is warning that if the parameters change, that further volcanic hazards could develop, right? <sighs> yeah, I think it has changed already, so we have to keep a close eye on this one. I mean, um, I don't know if that would be a tourist destination that I would choose right now, because if you're on an island and if this thing erupts, you're basically right on the volcano, right? There, you can't run away. There's water. So that's a problem, guys. So I thought that might be interesting for you. Um, since it's close to volcanoes that we've already talked about and it's close to Campi Flegri and Vesuvius as well. It keeps rumbling there as well. It keeps rumbling everywhere. We've had so many Etna eruptions, Stromboli eruptions, right? It's really busy. The volcanoes are hard at work in Italy, plus the earthquakes. So yeah, guys, let's stay on this. Subscribe if you want to join this group of volcano freaks. And if you want to join it even further, become a member of my channel and get valuable behind the scenes uh, information. And, you know, I will release shortly for my Silver Level members um, a video where I will show you my basement because I have repeated comments that something mysterious is going on in my basement and that I am doing something very strange in my basement. And since these comments repeat or getting more creative, I will show you the basement and I will show you what I do there probably tomorrow. So become a member if you want to see the basement. So thanks guys. Thanks for your support. I see you very soon. Bye bye.